Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through angles of elevation and depression. I recently released a video on uh, trigonometry and Pythagoras theorem. You may want to go through those videos. Now, when you hear angle of elevation or angle of depression, what comes to your mind? Take a look at this this way. If I am standing this way, this is my eye level. So let's say uh, this is my eye. So if this is my eye and I'm looking this way, it means this is the horizontal. So I am looking straight. And the, let's say this is my height. So my eye level is straight. Now, if eventually, as I'm looking, I saw a tree, and this is the bottom of a tree, this is the root, and this is the tree. If I look up to the top of a tree, this means that my eyes have left this horizontal and is going up. So, this from my eye level, I'm now looking up to the top of the tree. This angle between my normal look or the base of the tree and the top of the tree is called angle of elevation. So angle of elevation is when you look up. Now look at another example. As I'm standing here on top of a building, my eye level is straight. If I now look down this way to the bottom of the building, that means I've dropped, I'm beginning to look down. So my eye level is now going down to so the bottom of the building. This angle between my normal look or the horizontal and the bottom of that building is called the angle of depression. What does that mean? When the object viewed is above the eye level, then that angle is the angle of elevation. When the object view is below the eye level, you are looking down, that angle is called angle of depression. Angles of depression and elevation, they both lead to the formation of right-angled triangle. Remember, right-angled triangle is a triangle whose one side is 90 degrees. So, this is 90 degrees. If this is 90 degrees, then this angle is needed and this. So you'll be giving these angles in question. So they can tell you that the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. So if the angle of elevation is, let's say, 30 degrees, I will know that this is 90 degrees. Now, food is ready. Why did I say so? In triangle, we know that this is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent. And here is the opposite. This implies that the opposite is simply the height of the tree. So if I say find height of the tree, it means I'm saying look for, let's say the A, B and C. So I'm saying from here to here. Sine 30 degrees is equals opposite, which is C over hypotenuse B. So if B is given, let's say it's equals 13, you can easily find your C, height of the tree. And another thing you can ask, you can uh, we ask to look for, is the the distance between the person and the base of the tree. In that case, you are looking for the adjacent. So you can look for anything since you already understand this. So angle of elevation and depression are a way of what solving triangles. This question says a cliff on the bank of a river. Now, this thing is called cliff. Cliff. You begin to wonder what is cliff. Look at it. If this is a river. Let's call this river. If this is a river, you know all those tall rocks, steep rocks on top of river or close to the river? That's what is referred to as cliff. So this is the river. And you have a cliff like this on the river. Tall rock, steep. So they are telling you now that uh, on the bank of the river, the cliff is 300 meter high. This means that this cliff, the height here is 300 meter. Now, this is the end of the river. They says that if the angle of depression of a point of the 
side of the river is 60 degrees. Now look at it. This is the cliff, right? Now, the way I use eye to give illustration. So the eye is looking this way normally, right? This means that this is the uh, height of the cliff. So this represents the height of the cliff. cliff. So the eye is looking this way normally. Now it says it's not looked downward. So that means from this base of the cliff, or the normal eye level, the cliff looked downward at an angle of 60 degrees to the end of the river. So this angle is 60 degrees. What is it now saying? Find the width of the river. So obviously the river will begin from here and it ends here. So this width of the river is what we are looking for, which is the adjacent. And remember, here is the right angled triangle. So to look for this angle, there and here are alternate angles. So any angle you have here, it is the same thing as the angle you have here, 60 degrees. So with this, food is ready. Because uh, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Sin theta is opposite over uh, hypotenuse. Tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So, tan theta, 60 degrees, is equals opposite, 300 meter, over adjacent, A. So, you can even label it. Let here be A, B, C. So, B, C is the width of the river. So, if this is this, this means that A is equals 300 over tan 60 degrees. Now, if what if you are asked to look for angle of elevation in this question? The angle of elevation will simply be that some, uh, somebody was standing on top looking from there upward. So if, the, if this is the eye level and the person looks upward, and let's say still the same angle, 60 degrees, in that case, we'll be looking for the height here. So the height of the person or the tree or whatever will be S, and this is the adjacent. You apply your trig ratios and you solve. So angle of elevation of depression is simple. So long you know your trig ratios and you know how to place your angles to know whether the person is looking up, where is the angle? Is the person looking down, where is the angle? You get your answer. So, so simple. So that is it. Uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out my next video. Stay on trigonometry and geometry. Link is below.